All right, if you're the type to try and outdo yourself in the kitchen every, day, every holiday <laughs> season, this next story is for you. Yeah, the Baking Expo is in town, and we sent over our own Mike Doria to check it out. He is live at the convention center ready to tell us what's going on. Is that a cake by you? That's pretty awesome there. That is, this is the cake I want for my next birthday, which is going to be my 25th birthday, yeah. by the way. I'm just letting you all know that. <laughs> Times two. Um, yeah. Uh, this cake, I just want you to know, I'm a little disappointed because underneath all this fondant is just styrofoam. This is part of a cake decorating contest that they held here on Saturday, and they had six hours to create these cakes, but they were all like storybook themes. This one's Hansel and Gretel. Take a look at Jack and the Beanstalk. This one is kind of cool. Look at how far up in the air it goes and all the detail up on there. So they had six hours to put this together, and we got the winner to come in this morning, Jamie Vanderwood. She's a cake decorator, and you won with the Ugly Duckling. Yes, we did. It was so much fun to do. Six hours. You had six hours. It looks like a lot of detail to get done in six hours. There was a lot of detail. We kind of just took pages from the book and recreated it into this beautiful cake. And uh, when you're looking at all, they're all really great. Like if you look at Rapunzel, there's a lot of detail in Rapunzel. What made your cake stand out versus Rapunzel? Well, it's all about the detail and... Like for our cake, we have ladybugs on it, and we used Asian noodles to give it antennas. So it's just the small details. It's attention to detail, and that's what will separate first from second, or even first from third. And then also the board details. A cake is completely complete when the board is done. So in competition, ah. you always have to make sure you have a great board to accompany the cake. Gotcha. You want a trip to Florida out of all this. Uh, we were chatting earlier, and you told me that people now, they rent cakes. They don't actually... Yes pay to make them and keep them and eat them they rent them well some people think it's a cheaper alternative to have you know just a cake on display and then they serve sheet cakes so there are companies that you can actually rent wedding cakes now is the fondant on your cake edible yes it is so i could eat it right now um you could however it is a couple days old so oh i don't care that's fine <laughs> if i get sick i'll lose weight <laughs> <laughs> have a seashell. All right. So you got Florida out of this. Um, and, you know, how many cakes would you say you're doing a year? You put 25 pounds of fondant on this cake. How many cakes are you doing a year? Um, in a year from birthday to wedding, anniversary, probably a 1,000. A 1,000 cakes? Yeah. We Well, we could do anywhere from 50 to 60 cakes in a weekend. And that's, you know, from your simple birthday cake to your, you know, extremely detailed wedding cake. I'm going to come live with you. I mean, these cakes are ridiculous, Maria and Dave. And Dave, your daughter may want a cake for her next birthday. Mm -hmm. um, I want to yes. ask one more quick question. How much would a cake like this cost in the real world? Oh, in cool. the real world, um, if it's all edible, um, it could cost between about $2,000 and $5,000. <laughs> you're paying for the art and the labor that goes into it. So you're not paying for the flour and the sugar. You're paying for... Just, you're paying for talent. I mean, this is art. <laughs> this is, well, Dave, be glad you don't have twins. You're only going to have to spend $5,000 on cake. <laughs> I don't love her that much, Mike. <laughs> she, hey, she's, bad dad. She's getting a $39.95 cake from Whatever. Dairy Queen. <laughs> bad. Mm -hmm. You're going to Walmart. Oh, that's right. You're darn tootin'. All right. Darn tootin'. What does that even mean? All right, thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. So talented Five there. 12. You mean?